Yo guys, it's me, Xenia. So, this was a tough week for me. I bet you have already watched my video about five things in Serbia that shocked me. Oh my god, what a mess that video made. So, for some of you who are not from Serbia, after I post my video, um, in 24 hours, all Serbian Yellow Pages websites decided to play shit with me and they simply distorted my words and they put bullshit headlines in their titles so people just rushed to my channel to say what an ignorant and, and ungrateful bitch I am. So most people didn't even watch the video. I checked my analytics and the average view duration uh, just dropped from 5 minutes to 2 minutes. News already said everything about that video, so why should they waste their time? And it was really tough, because I just started to nervous. I mean, I didn't say anything bad, what the hell? I just compared our cultures and habits and then I realized probably if I were Italian and I came to Serbia and made a similar video uh, comparing uh, Italian culture and Serbian culture, it could be interesting to watch for Serbian people, but <laughs> I am Russian. And for some absolutely awkward reason, I speak English, good English, with an accent, and that accent definitely not Russian. And that rang a bell with people. Probably I'm not Russian at all. Probably this video was made not to entertain, but to sow enmity. You know, for a lot of people here in Serbia, I sound British, and that's what I'm actually trying to do. Uh, but for any British-speaking person, or even uh, native English-speaking person, I don't really sound British, and definitely not native. Like, yeah, she's trying to sound British, but she's not British. But try to explain it to angry people. And the peak of that mountain of shit was the conclusion that those people did that I'm not actually Russian. I'm Ukrainian. I don't see any problem of being Ukrainian. I'm just simply not Ukrainian, I'm Russian. And what just blew my mind, uh, Russians, who came to my channel and replying every single comment she's not Russian, she's Ukrainian, trust me, we already declassified her. <laughs> what? And one of those uh, Russian women uh, who spent the entire day in my comment section, uh, she, she, uh, she left a comment something like, I'm a philologist, I know this shit. I can identify people. She's not Russian. Uh 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 uh. She's Ukrainian. Блять, вы извините, пожалуйста. Ну иди ты нахуй филолог. Вот из таких вот недофилологов и просто кретинов люди уезжают из России. And there was this guy who actually really knows something, and he even has a, a friend in some kind of department who saw my documents, and it says Ukrainian in some kind of village. I don't even know how on earth this guy got my documents, but I hope that village is a good place to born in. People were saying like, why are you speaking English? You're Russian. Speak Serbian or Russian so people can understand you. I didn't really get this point. I mean, I'm sorry, but this is my channel and this channel was made to, uh, for English speaking people so that so I couldn't, could um, create a content uh, about my country, about Russia, about our culture, uh, so people who never visited it can, can learn more about it. Why would I speak Russian uh, and show Russian-speaking people uh, my Moscow apartment and talking about borscht? I mean, no sense. That's why my channel is in English, so I can practice my English skills and to educate people about my country. Uh, but the point uh, that angry local guys got that I'm actually a Western spy and I was paid to make that video. I wish I was paid though, because <laughs> I don't even have uh, my monetization on YouTube right now and uh, the only things uh, that makes me some money are buy me coffee and Patreon, by the way. All awesome guys are on Patreon with me already, 
thank you so much guys and if you want to join our gang link in the pinned comment make sure you check this out so yeah uh, the conclusion those people uh, made was um, I made a video about differences between our cultures and habits and people and that Russians uh, don't have the same attitude as Serbian people have to Russians uh, in order to sow an enmity. Should I say that they are wrong? They are wrong. I love Serbia. I love Russia. I love people in both countries. Not all of them, but still. I didn't mean anything bad, you guys. I just shared my experience based on what I heard and what I, what I saw and what I know. I'm not taking my words back, no. Probably I shouldn't have said anything at all, or I should have said that I'm not speaking from behalf of all the Russians. And as a result of all that shit, Euronews survey contacted me, they wanted me to participate in the story about Russian immigrants in Serbia, and I agreed. I'll show you the article maybe this week, when it'll be ready. Well, <clears throat> what I want to say. Those shitty media got a great job. But, on the other hand, I got so many awesome subscribers from Serbia. That's insane. Some of them even contacted me via Instagram, Telegram, email, saying lots of supportive and nice words. And this is another proof of how kind people in Serbia are. This is amazing. I can't stop admiring. So thanks to those people who found the time to actually watch the whole video and understand what I was saying about. And yeah, I got through the hell. Uh, not gonna lie, it was, it was tough. Um, I've never thought that it could actually happen to me, that these things could be real, like these nonsense things could be real. It was my first time and I'm thinking that it's not the last time. <laughs> And yeah, and now I kinda, I kinda stuck with uh, my future plans for this channel because it was simply obvious when I was in Russia what I wanted to do with my channel, like to, to share my experience living in Russia, to share some facts, uh, cultural facts, and uh, share food, Russian food with, uh, with English spe speaking people. And now I just don't know what I'm doing and what I'm gonna do. I'm stuck. I don't know what I want to film like vlogs, food, entertainment, what? I just, just don't know. If you guys have any ideas, let me know. Uh, and yeah, that's, that's pretty much it for today. And thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.